for an application to FDMG Vending, V-E-N-D-I-N-G. That's FDMG Vending, V-E-N-D-I-N-G at Gmail. If you want to perform on stage, if you want to perform song, dance, instrument, comedy, spoken word, oratory, children, adult, elder, if you want to perform, send your email to FDMG Performances. That's the E-S on performance. Performances. FDMG Performances at gmail.com. Hit the cash app so we can raise money for the festival. Hit the cash app so we can raise money for the festival. Dollar sign FDMG School on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School on your cash app. Hit the PayPal for FDMG Festival Fundraiser. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy for my Africans in Africa, for my Africans in Europe, my Africans in Canada, my Africans in South America, my Africans in Australia, my Africans in South Pacific, my Africans here in America, my Africans in the Caribbean and Central America. Hit your PayPal, FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, FDMG Academy. Hit your PayPal, FDMG Academy. Remember, the FDMG Academy is the first school since Marcus Garvey purchased with funds from Africans from every community on the face of this earth. We've already made history, and we're not even open yet. We've already made history, and we're not even open yet. Hit the cash app for the school. Hit the PayPal for the school. Also, we're raising funds for the documentary, the shockumentary of the millennial, the psychoacademic war against black boys. Hit your cash app, dollar sign, Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit your cash app, D-R-U-M-A-R-J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Hit your PayPal, Umar the Psychologist at Yahoo.com. Hit your PayPal, Umar the Psychologist at Yahoo.com. Hit your Zelle, 215-989-9858. Hit your Zelle, 215-989-9858. FDMG money is FDMG money, and shockumentary money is shockumentary money. Keep them separate, totally separate. Dollar sign FDMG and PayPal FDMG Academy for the school and the festival. Dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson and Umar the Psychologist on PayPal. And my cell number for Zell, that shockumentary. Keep the two movements separate. So let's get into the Q&A. I will talk about Roe versus Wade tomorrow at the Doc Bookstore. You don't need tickets, just show up. Let's see if we got any questions from the parents. Toronto, Canada. We got Black Canada in the building. Let's get it. Black Canada. My daughter is five and has a stutter. Should I be worried? That's the question from Ryan from Toronto, Canada. Ryan didn't take the call, but I will answer the question. If your child is five years old and stuttering, they obviously have a speech and language impairment. If your child is five years old and stuttering, three year old and stuttering, four years old and stuttering, six years old and stuttering, seven year olds and stuttering, they obviously have a speech and language impairment. So what you should do is contact, if your child is beginning kindergarten this coming year, contact the public or charter school they will be attending this coming year in kindergarten and request a speech and language evaluation, okay? If your child will not be starting kindergarten this fall, then contact the early intervention office at the local public school district and ask for an early intervention speech and language evaluation. Remember, early intervention is for children at least three who have not yet began kindergarten. Early intervention is for children at least three who have not yet began kindergarten. But once they're in kindergarten, they can now receive regular public and charter school special ed services, in which case you contact the special ed director for your district and you request a speech and language evaluation. Now, make sure when you sign your permission to evaluate for the speech pathologist to evaluate your child, 
when you sign permission to evaluate for the speech pathologist to evaluate your child, make sure you write speech only above your name. There will not be a line for it, but right above your signature, put speech only so everyone involved in your child's speech and language impairment evaluation understands, understands, and overstands that you are only looking for a speech evaluation. You're not looking for no autism. You're not looking for a reading disability. You're not looking for a math disability. You're not looking for an intellectual disability. You're not looking for an emotional disturbance. You're not looking for blindness. You're not looking for deafness. You're not looking for a hearing impairment. You're not looking for an orthopedic impairment. You're not looking for a health impairment. You're not looking for a multiple disability. You are only concerned about speech. Write speech only above your, above your name. If you don't write speech, I'm telling you what they're going to do. I've seen it over and over again for 25 years I've been doing this. They're going to come back with an evaluation report that says your child is retarded, your child is emotional, your child got reading problems, your child got developmental delays. You didn't ask for that. You didn't ask for that. You know, Dr. Umar's rule, seven and under, they have no business being tested for anything but speech. Seven and under, they have no business being tested for anything other than speech or blindness or hearing or deafness. So there you have it. Let's see if we have another question. This is the Black Parent Teleconference, special pre-summer edition. If you have a question, text about your child, 215-989-9858. If you have a question about your child, 215-989-9858. If you have a question about your child, 215-989-9858. Don't call, text, 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 text. Text. Uh, what services do you offer? I don't even know what that question means. Okay, what do we got? Ever since my son's father took full custody 2019, alienating me from him, my son has had so much anger and aggression. How can I help him? Let me reread this. Ever since my son's father took full custody in 2019, alienating me from him, my son has had so much anger and aggression. How can I help him? I now have him full physical custody because of Child Protective Services got involved in an incident with his father beating him with a belt. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here, good sister. There's a lot to unpack here. Right from the beginning, right from the beginning, I think there's some attachment disruption and attachment disruption and dysfunction going on. I think the son's relationship may have been damaged with you as a result of the father taking him away. And I think the relationship with the father was damaged, obviously, because of how things went while he was in the father's custody. But the overarching issue here for mother and father is the fact that this boy seems to not have had much peace in his life as a result of the conflict between mom and dad. So with that being said, number one, we need therapy. We need family therapy. The boy needs therapy by himself. Mom, you probably need therapy to process your issues around the situation. And then there needs to be mother and son therapy. So you get therapy, your son gets therapy, and then both of you come together and you engage in therapeutic sessions together. That's what we're needing there. As far as the father spanking him with the belt, I'm not going to automatically consider that to be child abuse. My question would be, for what reason was he being spanked by the, by the father, whipped with the belt by the father? And also, 
along those lines. I would like to know how was the father successful in getting the court to grant him full custody of your son? Uh, now, did he get primary custody or did he get exclusive custody? Because if he got primary custody, mom, you should have still had the right to see your son on the weekends or during the week or whatever the situation may be. I'm having trouble understanding why you got no custody at all on paper. So maybe you're leaving something out because I don't understand why you were not allowed to see your son at all. So that would be a question I would have for you. Okay. Now, with that being said, I have to say this. With that being said, I have to say this. I have seen situations where the mother spoiled the boy rotten. I have seen situations where the mother spoiled the boy rotten. And of course, oh, he's only six years old. He's only six years old. Ouch, that changes everything. I thought he might have been a little older. That changes everything. Why did the court give the father exclusive custody from the mother for a six-year-old? So I have more questions than answers because I need more clarity on this situation. She's texting me now. I want to know why they took your son from you at such a young age. In African culture, the men take the boys from the mother around 11 and 12 for rites of passage. But up until that time, they do spend move away order from my abusive ex. Ah, a move away order from your abusive ex was declined and son had to return back to the state he was born in. Okay, so you lost the move away order. Okay. Okay. Lot going on there. Lot going on there, my queen. We might need to have a conversation. We might need to have a conversation. Okay, let's go to the phone. Text your name in your city. You're not texting your first name in your city. Nobody wants to ask that question. Everybody wants to text. No problem. I have two sons, one in early education and another in kindergarten with an IEP for speech and developmental delay. They want to diagnose my oldest with autism because of transition and behavior. You know my rule in autism. Now, if you want to give them permission, you can. I wouldn't be doing that. I told you the younger the child, the more likely they will be misdiagnosed, especially black kids being tested for, by white people. The younger the child, the more likely they will be misdiagnosed, especially black children being tested by white people. The younger the child, the more likely they will be misdiagnosed, especially black children being tested by white people. I would not consent to an autism evaluation that young for my son or my daughter because you cannot prove it. You might have evidence of it. You might see symptoms of it. They may meet criteria for it. But as you've heard me say so many times before, a child can look autistic but be hearing impaired. A child may look autistic and be emotionally traumatized. A child may look autistic and be selective mute. A child may look autistic and have a speech and language impairment. A child may look autistic and may suffer from social anxiety. There are a lot of competing explanations for why children are not communicating at that age. They're too young to really let you know that they have trouble communicating with other people. I would slow down, pump my brakes, observe my child, and give it another year or two. That's what I would do, but the decision is up to you. Of course, we know black parents love to sign off on anything white folks ask them to do, but I'm hoping, my brother, you will exercise some caution in that regard. Sister Angela from Dallas, I hope to see you tomorrow night in Fort Worth, Texas. Sister Angela, for the free question and answer session, meet and greet book signing at the Dot Bookstore if you can't come tomorrow. And even if you can come tomorrow, we want to see you again in Duncanville, Texas at the Holistic Health Festival at Anderson Park. Okay, 
Sister Angela says, hello, Dr. Umar. Unfortunately, I did let the school test my son under the age of seven. They, excuse me, test my child. Under the age of seven, they put my daughter in special education. She's been in special ed six years. What steps do I take to get her out? You have not given me a classification, Sister Angela. What is your daughter's special ed classification? Autism, reading disability, math disability, intellectual disability, emotional disturbance, other health impairment for ADHD. What is your daughter in special ed for? Can I please have the classification? Sister Angela, I'm waiting on you. Let's give Sister Angela a minute. Shout out to all my brothers and sisters who are fasting. If you are fasting, this is the first of our final seven days. We are in our last week of fasting. It has been great. It has been a purge. It has been a cleanse. This has been the toughest of the three years we've been doing this, and we've been doing this for three years. And if you join Team Pan-African when I restart it, if you become an employee at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, if your son happens to be selected in the lottery to attend the FDMG Academy, your son will be expected to fast with the rest of us. Employees and faculty and staff must also fast. That is incumbent upon anyone associated with the Team Pan-African Movement, the FDMG Festival. We fast from June 10th to July the 1st every single year. Intellectual disability. Sister Angela, this is what I want you to do for me. I'm going to see if you do it. Sister Angela, this is what you're going to do for your daughter. You are going to bring Dr. Umar a copy of your baby's special education evaluation that classified her as an intellectually disabled child under the age of seven. You're going to bring me her report to the doc bookstore tomorrow. That's what you're going to do, Sister Angela. And I'm going to review your daughter's evaluation free of charge. Why? Because I do not charge to review the intellectual disability evaluations of children because I consider those to be some of the most detrimental when they are wrong. Having a black African child walking around thinking they're retarded when they're not is no small manner. And if we need to get this label taken off your daughter, we're going to do it ASAP. So Sister Angela, text me and let me know if you're going to bring your daughter's psychological evaluation report that classified her as intellectually disabled formerly called retarded. Let me know if you're going to bring it to the doc bookstore tomorrow, Sister Angela. And since she's been in special ed six years and children with intellectual disabilities have to be evaluated every two years, Sister Angela, that means the first eval you should have, and then you should have the second eval two years later, and then you should have the third eval two years later. So if your daughter had been in special ed for six years, Sister Angela, you should be bringing me three evaluation reports intellectually disabled children must be evaluated every two years intellectually disabled children must be evaluated every two years so sister angela i want the first one that's the most important then i want the re-eval two years later and then i want the re-eval four years later you should have three evaluations not iep i don't want to see the iep sister angela i don't need to see the iep you can bring the IEP, but I want to see the eval. So I can tell you, based on my professional opinion as a certified school psychologist and doctor of clinical psychology, whether or not your daughter was properly evaluated, Sister Angela. And if your daughter was not properly evaluated, you're going to write a letter requesting an independent educational evaluation by a school psychologist of your choice who does not work for Dallas Public Schools. And we're going to get them to reevaluate your child and see if she was really intellectually disabled. I'm willing to bet you she was not. I'm willing to bet you she was not because in the United States of America, black children are classified as intellectually disabled four times as much as other children. And then that means, Sister Angela, if this was a misdiagnosis, we're going to get you and your daughter. Sister Angela, you haven't answered me yet, so maybe you're not going to bring me your daughter's evaluation so you can get on top of this tomorrow night. But be that as it may, I hope you do. Or maybe the father will or the grandmother, somebody who cares about this child better bring me that evaluation because you do not want your seven-year-old walking around thinking she's retarded, Sister Angela. Let's do something about this and I'm willing to help you for free. And if we prove that they were wrong, you're going to get compensatory ed. She said, yes, I am. I look forward to seeing you 
tomorrow, Sister Angela, and bring the princess with you too. Bring the whole family with you to the Doc Bookstore. It's going down Fort Worth, Texas, the Doc Bookstore, black owned tomorrow, Dr. Umar's first visit in 10 long years. Last time I was in Fort Worth, we didn't have FDMG. Last time I was at the Doc Bookstore, we didn't even start the FDMG fundraiser yet, so I'm looking forward to it. My son was diagnosed as autistic at four years old also. Lord have mercy. What is it going to take? What is it going to take for me to convince you black parents to stop getting your children evaluated so young? These are not cancer diagnoses. These are not diabetes diagnoses. These are not epilepsy diagnoses. Psychological diagnoses are highly subjective. Yes, psychology is a science, but the diagnoses are still open to interpretation. Four years old autism eval, I'm not coming down on you. I'm not coming down on you because you didn't know no better. But I've been out here for 25 years. So if I've been out here for 25 years, if your child is under 25, I'm trying to understand how you haven't heard me tell you not to do this. Somebody wants the address for Fort Worth and somebody wants the address for Duncanville. Tomorrow night, Fort Worth, we will be at the Doc Bookstore, Black-owned Doc Bookstore, 6637 Meadowbrook Drive, 6637 Meadowbrook Drive. Duncanville, Texas on Sunday. I speak at 3 o'clock. Duncanville, Texas, Sunday, 3 o'clock. Holistic Health Festival, but the festival is 9 to 5. The festival is all day. I speak at 5 on Sunday, and that's Armstrong Park, 100 Dreams Collins Boulevard. You can text me for the flyer after this Black Parent teleconference. Four years old is too young. Could they be autistic? Yes. Can you be sure at four? Hell no. So why did they want you to evaluate your child at four? Because the school wants the money from the state. Special ed is a big business. Special education is a multi-million dollar business. So if you're going to sign your name on the permission to evaluate form, if you're going to sign your name on the permission to evaluate form, they're going to put your child in special ed because every school knows the quickest way to get some extra money is tell black parents their kids got problems. The quickest way to get some extra money in a struggling public school is to tell black parents their children have problems. Four years old is too young. You might want to schedule a consultation with me to go over that evaluation. Let me see who else we got. Raleigh, North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. My child is not doing very well in public school. I don't feel that the school is doing a good job teaching him. I've been looking to enroll him in a Catholic private school. Ouch. Classrooms are smaller. There's more focus on him. Should I consider it? I would never tell you what to do, but you better tread lightly. Catholic schools. Our children are emotionally abused in predominantly white schools. Need I remind you that there was a whole movement in this country by white folks to keep black kids away from their children. Boston, Massachusetts, the white folks set buses on fire. In Boston, Massachusetts, the white folks set buses on fire. So black kids couldn't go to school with their kids. Little Rock, Arkansas. Have you heard the Little Rock Nine story? I visited the Little Rock, Arkansas high school. And I encourage all of you to take your children to the National Museum of the Little Rock Nine. It's right across the street from Central High School. When those nine black youth went in there representing our entire race and they braved Rape, molestation, they got spit on, beat up, stomped out, and they would not quit. White folks killed black folks so we wouldn't go to school with their children. Do you think times have changed? 
Do you think time have changed? And you're talking about a black boy, public enemy number one in a white school? Even the light-skinned black brothers with the green eyes and his straight hair are catching hell in white private schools. Even the light-skinned mixed-race little African boys with hazel eyes are catching hell in the white private schools. I'm not going to say no, but I'm going to say I wouldn't be doing it. Tread lightly, my queen. Don't jump out of the pot into the fire. Let's see who else we got. They put your son in a damn straight jacket. No way. This ain't, you're not, the picture you just sent me, you're not telling me this is what they do to your son. You're telling me they put your son in a light, bright green bootleg straight jacket. This is like a straight jacket, my brother. This looks like a handmade straight jacket. If this is what they're doing to your son, you need to sue. This is racial discrimination. This is special ed discrimination. This is the disability discrimination. If you're telling me this is what they did to your son, me and you need a consultation, my brother. You need to be reaching out to me. I need to help you put this case together. I need to help you put this case together. That, that's unacceptable. They have no right to bind your child up. In that bright green straight jacket. It looked like a damn straight jacket. He died at a mental health hospital. This is ridiculous. They're not allowed to do that, my brother. He should have a one-to-one -one aid. If he is a behavioral challenge, they should be paying for a one-to-one -one aid to be with your autistic son. And he's only four years old. In fact, I need to interview you for the shockumentary, my brother. Can you fly to Philadelphia next month? I would love to interview you for the shockumentary. I would love to interview you for the documentary. Text me and let me know if you can. I can't afford to fly you. You got to fly on your own. But this documentary right here, this documentary is going to make history. This is going to be the first true telling of the psychoacademic Holocaust against black boys. So let me know if you can fly to Philadelphia for the documentary. Because the picture I'm looking at, my brother, this picture needs to be shown on the documentary. We need you in the documentary because this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't like the Catholic school rally, North Carolina. I don't like the Catholic school. If you have a question about your son or daughter, you can text 215-989-9858. If you have a question about your son or daughter, text your first name and your city, 215-989-9858. If you want to work at FDMG, send your resume, fdmgresumes at gmail.com, fdmgresumes at gmail.com. I was going to initially... We were going to do three rounds of interviews, two video interviews and an in-person. But because we're getting so many resumes, historic amount of resumes, I don't think any independent school in the history of America has gotten more than 3,000 resumes. We are making history in the school, not even here yet. But if you're interested in working at FDMG, send your resume to FDMG Resumes, F-D-M-G-R-E-S-U-M-E-S, -E -E FDMG Resumes. I'm not putting it in the comments. You should be able to write, Miss Chula Binks, FDMG Resumes at gmail.com. Resume, photo, cover letter. Who are you and why do you want to work at this school? Who are you and why should you be chosen? To be amongst the inaugural staff and faculty of the most anticipated independent school in American African history. What is it that you are bringing to our table that you should be offered an employment as staff or faculty of the most anticipated independent school in American history? FDMGresumes at gmail.com. Resume, cover letter, photo. Let's see. All right. Let's see what other questions we might have. 
Dr. Umar, thank you for what you do. I've seen you twice in Florida. Can't wait till you come back, Tampa, Florida. Find me a location. Where my Tampa Africans at? Where my Tampa Germaniacs down there? My Germaniac queens in Tampa. I need a location for a lecture. I want your thoughts on homeschooling my five-year-old. We refuse to send her to public or private school, and I don't blame you. My son is too. Do you think the school will be ready by the time he's eligible? Oh, yeah. FDMG will be ready for your son, God willing. FDMG will be ready. I must want to relocate to Delaware. As far as homeschooling your five-year-old, you might need to get a copy of my book. I have a whole chapter on homeschooling in here. This book will be available tomorrow in Fort Worth, Texas for the first time. This book will be available Sunday in Duncanville, Texas for the first time. This book will be available tomorrow at Fort Worth, Texas Doc Bookstore for the first time. This book will be available in Duncanville, Texas for the first time. But let me give you a couple tips on homeschooling, my brother. Let me give you five homeschooling tips, five homeschooling tips. Number one, are you organized enough and do you have enough time to homeschool? Do you have enough time to homeschool and are you organized enough to homeschool? That's checklist number one. Because if you ain't got the time or if you are disorganized, find another homeschooling parent and pay them to homeschool your child. If you don't have the time or you are disorganized, find another homeschooling parent to homeschool your child. Okay? Because if homeschooling isn't done right, your child will become a home fool. Number two, make sure you set aside space in your home for homeschooling. Homeschooling should be done in a very identical place. The den, the attic, the basement. If it's at the kitchen table, so be it. But make sure everybody knows when school is in session, nobody's coming in here. No snacks, no food. Your child is not going to take their education seriously if you don't take it seriously. Make sure there's a designated place for homeschool. I also recommend, as I talk about in my book, I recommend that your child wear a uniform or a shirt so they are crystal clear on when they're in school and when they are at home. When they are in school and when are they at home. If it ain't going to be a four, you get a shirt. Put your homeschool name on that shirt. It could be a t-shirt, but when they put that t-shirt on, they know it's time to learn. And when it's time to take a break, take the shirt off. When, when the break is over, put the shirt on. You have to train your child, educate them on when they're being educated and when they're socializing. Because I've seen some disaster ghetto homeschool networks. I have seen some disaster ghetto homeschool networks okay you on the phone you got visitors coming by you talking you sending emails that's not homeschool that's a home fool in the process number three find someone who's already been homeschooling to coach you Find an educator or school psychologist to coach you. You need some coaching. That's why schools have principals. Because if schools didn't have principals, teachers would do whatever they want. The job of the principal is to supervise the instruction of the child. I am the principal at FDMG. I will be supervising the instruction of your child. I am the principal and the CEO of FDMG. I will be supervising the education of your children. That's why office hours for parents at FDMG will be held after school, not during school. Let me say that again. Office hours for parents at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy will be held after school, not during school, because you are not going to distract me from making sure my teachers are teaching. Just because they show up with a dashiki on and some locks and an African name don't mean they're not lazy. My first obligation is to those children to make sure they learn. My ancestors are expecting me to turn out a generation of revolutionary pan-Africanists. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Number four. Make sure you schedule social time for your homeschool child. They must have social time, social activity, organized sports, organized extracurriculars, chess club, African martial arts, robotics club. Make sure they get to see more than just you and their mother and their siblings. 
because if your child only get to see mom, dad, and siblings, they're going to start hating the homeschool because it's like a prison. Don't turn your homeschool into a prison. Don't turn your homeschool into a prison. In Pathetic Beauty, go to fdmgfestival.com and register. Go to fdmgfestival.com and register. You register your child. Everyone must show a driver's license or non-driver's license. State-issued driver's license or non-driver's license or you're not walking into my festival. State-issued driver's license or non-driver's license or you're not walking into my festival. Next question. I'm watching you now. He's six, but that was the age. Definitely be reaching out to you. No problem, my brother. Tampa, find me a place in Tampa. My wife is a stay at home, so we good. No problem. So y'all working that out. I found out the school took my son on a field trip where they picked cotton from a plantation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. I know I didn't read that, so I'm going to read it again. I know I didn't just read that, so I'm going to read it again. I know I didn't just read that, so I'm going to read it again. Because I don't think I read what I just read. One of the things that really got me upset, I found out that the school took my son on a field trip where they picked cotton from a plantation. First of all, you're supposed to sign a field trip form. First of all, you're supposed to sign a field trip form. First of all, you're supposed to sign a field trip form. Second of all, you and all the other black parents need to be showing up at the next school board meeting. This is a school board issue. This speaks to policy and curriculum. This is a school board issue. Because I can promise you the curriculum doesn't say that children will go to a former plantation and pick cotton, my sister. You must protest this. I will be at the school board, letter to the superintendent, letter to the chair of the school board, letter to the secretary of education, letter to the mayor, letter to the governor, letter to the lieutenant governor, letter to my state rep, my U.S. rep, letter to my uh, state senator and U.S. senator. Don't let this go, my sister. If you want to be interviewed for the shockumentary, some of y'all need to get to Philadelphia and get interviewed. Let me know if you can fly to Philly and get interviewed. We can pick you up from the airport. Fly to Philly. We get you from the airport. Take you, interview you. We're going to interview you at FDMG Academy, and we're going to get you back to the airport so you'll get a chance to tour the school for free. You spoke. Uh-uh, sister. It ain't about speaking. Pen to paper. Pen to paper. Paper, my good sister. Pen to paper. Did you go to the school board meeting? Got to go to the school board meeting. My name is Morgan. I'm a father. My apologies, Brother Mork. That's Brother Morgan. He's a father. Brother Mork, get them other parents. Get them other parents, Brother Mork. Don't let this go. We got to stop letting stuff go. We must fight. Our whole history in this country has been a history of struggle. We must fight. If you have a question about your child, education and mental health behavior, if you have a question about your child, you can text my cell right now, your first name and your city, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. I'm going to give the parents 15 minutes. If I don't get any more parent questions, we will roll this over into the shockumentary fundraiser. We will roll this over into the shockumentary Q&A. You can ask me any question you want for a $10 donation on my personal Zelle, personal Cash App, personal PayPal for the shockumentary. But I do want to give our parents an opportunity to ask these questions. Now, let me say this to parents while I'm waiting for some more text messages from parents. Do not forget about your child's education during the summer. Do not forget about your child's education during the summer. Do not forget about your child's education during the summer. During the summer, they should be reading. Your child should be reading a book a week. One book every week. You could put them on a reward system if you want. Never use money. Never use expensive gifts. Every child in your house, I don't care if they're 16, 17, everybody reads. Everybody goes to the bookstore. 
everybody goes to the library. If you want to keep the books, go to the black bookstore. If you can't afford to buy the books, take them to the public library. No excuses. The whole house reads every night for one hour. I said the whole house reads every night for one hour. If your child is behind academically, they better be getting some tutoring. I'm going to tell you right now, if your son is playing football and he's behind academically and he ain't got no tutor, you are a horrible parent. If your son or daughter is behind mathematically and they playing basketball and they ain't got no tutor, you are a horrible parent. That's right. I said it. If your child is allowed to prioritize academics and socialization, excuse me, prioritize athletics over academics, you are a horrible child. Okay. Horrible parent. Also, if you got issues with the school, guess what? Special ed director is a 12 month position. Superintendent is a 12-month position. School principal is a 12-month position. If you got IEP issues, they can be handled over the summer. You got psychological evaluation issues, they can be handled over the summer. You got 504 issues, they can be handled over the summer. Stop wasting the summer. Stop. Before I go to Sister Tiana from Baltimore, before I go to Sister Tiana from Baltimore, before I go to Sister Tiana from Baltimore, do I need to have a conference just for black teachers? I've never done it. I'm talking to my black parents, my, my black teachers, because I know some of you are Negro peen. Let's just keep it a buck. Some of you black teachers are straight up Negro Caucasians. I get it. But for my conscious revolutionary black teachers, do I need to hold a conference for black teachers? And do I need to hold a conference for black teachers to talk about issues affecting black teachers? And maybe we need to start the National Independent Black Educators Association. Do I need to start the National Independent Black Educators Conference so we can start looking out for each other? What do y'all think about that? Because I think it's time for a black teacher's union. I think it's time for a black teacher's union. I think it's time for black teachers to separate from the white teacher's union. I'm calling for a mass exodus. I'm calling for a mass exodus with the staff of Moses right here. I'm calling for a mass exodus with the staff of the ancestors. Black teachers must leave the white teachers union. I said black teachers must leave the white teachers union and start their own. We're four cities. Where should we have it? We're going to do one national independent black educators conference in the South. We're going to do one national independent black educators conference in the West. We're going to do one. National Independent Black Educators Conference on the East Coast, and we're going to do one in the Midwest. Four cities. If you can volunteer space, if you have a space where we can hold the conference and you in the Midwest, if you have a space where we can hold the conference and you on the East Coast, if you have a space where we can hold the conference in the East, in the West, the East, the Midwest, in the South, text me, Dr. Umar. I am an educator. I heard your call that you want to start a National Independent Black Educators Conference. My church pastor, I spoke with him. He is not a Negro pen. He said the banquet hall at my church can seat 500 or you can use the sanctuary. It's seat 1000 because you're doing the Lord's work. So you can be in the sanctuary, Dr. Umar, and he will volunteer the church space for free. Come on, brothers and sisters. Come on, brothers and sisters, if you have a location, if you have a look, this is for people who are certified, licensed educators, school psychologists, school social workers, classroom teachers, special ed teachers. We about to, Lord have mercy, I'm hype. I'm hype. We're going to organize the black educators. Why ain't think about this sooner? Because I'm fasted and the ancestors are coming through right now. So that's what we're going to do. Where's your biracial queen with a black father? First of all, I've dated 
mixed race African sisters with a white mother. I've dated mixed race African sisters with a black mother. You understand me? According to my philosophy of revolutionary Pan-Africanism, which was also echoed by the most honorable Marcus Garvey, Osajapo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and others, we do not discriminate against mixed-race Africans. I understand that we have spokespersons in the black consciousness community who don't accept mixed-race Africans, and that is their prerogative. I understand some of you have issues with mixed-race Africans, and that is your prerogative. But let me say this to you, and I want you to be clear, especially if you plan on being at FDMG on September the 10th, especially if you plan on being at FDMG on Saturday, September the 10th, if you disrespect a mixed-race African at my school, you will be banned. You will be permanently entered into the book of Negroes. Oh, yes. The book of Negroes has went nowhere. You will be entered into the book of Negroes and you will never be allowed on my campus again. If you break your mouth to disrespect one of my mixed race African brothers and sisters, they did not ask to come here. They've been through enough hell as it is. I know we got some Negro Pian mixed race Africans and we got some full blooded Negro Pians. You understand me? You understand me? Buffoonery does not discriminate based on skin tone. Buffoonery does not discriminate based on skin tone. Once again, if you want to be a part of the National Independent Black Educators Conference, I need a location in the West Coast. I need a location in the Down South. I need a location on the East Coast. And I need a location in the Midwest. My six-year-old was referred for trauma counseling. Should we also do counseling? Yes. Trauma counseling, do it together. Make sure you get your own counselor. Don't let the school send you to nobody. And make sure you don't sign a release of information form because we don't want the teacher, we don't want the counselor discussing your child's trauma with the school. Never sign release of information, parents. Ever, 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 under any circumstances. Do not do it. My condolences to everybody who's losing people. We're losing a lot of our young people. My son is eight. I would like to send him to FDMG. I don't know how long it would take for the school to open. I've gotten some jobs down here. Take the jobs where you at, my brother. When FDMG is ready, that's when you make your decision. The school ain't ready. I don't want you making no moves now. When the school is ready, that's when you make your move. When the school is ready, that's when you make your move. Dr. Umar, my name is Tayana from Baltimore. My daughter is two, was born three months early, no problems, but is only saying 20 words. She has a speech therapist and a special ed provided by the State Infants and Toddler Program. Follow-up appointment, they were trying to get me to test her for autism. Hell no. What? Two years old? An autism evaluation for two years old. Lord have mercy, they, they thirsty for money in Baltimore. Must be that Johns Hopkins. Must be that Henrietta Lacks John Hopkins University. I bet you it's that John Hopkins. I bet you, my Baltimore Africans, please be wary of John Hopkins. My Baltimore Africans, please be wary of John Hopkins. They love to experiment on black folks in Baltimore. Please be wary. Sweetheart, no. Two years old is too young for autism. Two years old. Two years, oh, no, no, sweetheart, no, hell no. Keep the speech, and I also recommend that you get in contact with the African American Speech and Language Therapist Association. I believe they're based in Pittsburgh, African American Speech and Language Therapist Association. Make sure you get in contact with the African American Speech and Language Therapist Association in Pittsburgh, because I want you to get you a, a black speech pathologist that you pay out of pocket in addition to the service you're getting through the program, because I'm going to tell you right now, the speech pathologist in the program ain't working with your child as well as they should be. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't feel comfortable being as though she does not have any of the main signs of autism. She says about 20 to 25 words. Very social. If your daughter is very social, <laughs> if your daughter is very social, how in the hell can she be autistic? Autism is an impairment in both social and verbal communication. So we know your daughter got verbal communication problems because she got a speech and language impairment. 
but she clearly don't have no social communication. Man, we have an appointment next week to test her on cognitive. Time out. Time out. Time out. I hope you're listening to me, Tayana. Please listen to me, baby. Listen to me well. There is no IQ test. Listen to me, Tayana. There is no IQ test I can give your two-year-old that's going to give me a low enough basal and a high enough ceiling to give me a reliable IQ score for a two-year-old. Your daughter isn't even verbal enough for an IQ test at two. <laughs> Woo! Thank God for making me a school psychologist. Thank God for making me a school psychologist. Thank God for making me a school... Tayana, you know what the cognitive test is going to be? They're going to give you a form to fill out. And they're going to play some silly games with your daughter. And based on the silly games they play with your daughter and the questionnaire that you fill out, they're going to try to tell you that your daughter got a cognitive problem at two. If it were me, I would refuse it. Tayana, I think you should refuse everything and stick to speech. She's only two. Can we at least wait till she's five? Tayana, refuse it. Send a letter. Thank you, but no thank you. Nobody's giving my daughter no cognitive assessment, and nobody's giving my daughter an autistic assessment. She's only 24 months. We're going to focus on speech, and you're going to get your own speech pathologist from the African American Speech and Language Therapist Association. And that's all you're going to do, Tayana. Until five. I hope you heard me, sweetheart, and I hope you do what I ask you to do. Hit me up. You didn't give me your name, black man from Philadelphia with the uh, Freedom District. Hit me up. Peace and black power. What are your thoughts on Margaret Sanger? Do you have any evidence to support that she was a racist? Read her book. <laughs> She was a member of the American Eugenics Society. It's not a secret. Back then, in the early 1900s, late 1800s, all famous white folks believed in black extermination. All famous white folks believed in black extermination. Okay? I'm going to talk about, I'm going to save my Roe versus Wade for the Doc Bookstore tomorrow in Fort Worth, Texas. All my Texas Africans, for all my Texas Africans, I will be in... Fort Worth, Texas, tomorrow night, God willing, Saturday, June 25th, 6 to 9, free, 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 meet and greet, Q&A, book signing with Dr. Umar. Meet and greet, Q&A, book signing. And then Sunday, I'm in Duncanville, Holistic Health Festival, Armstrong Park in Duncanville from 9 to 5. Pull up, learn how to take better care of yourself, get you some massages and some healthy food and all that at the Holistic Health Festival Sunday. And then I speak at 3 to 5 on Sunday on mental health in the black community. Any more questions from parents? I'm going to give you a few minutes. Toledo, Ohio, August 11th. Toledo, Ohio, August 11th. Toledo, Ohio, August 11th. Toledo, Ohio. August 11th. We want more children for the festival this year. We want more child performers for the FDMG festival this year. We want more children performing at the festival. If you have a children's group or a child who performs, please email fdmgperformances at gmail.com. Please email fdmgperformances at gmail.com. If you want to be a vendor, fdmgvending at gmail.com. If you want to be a vendor, half of our vendors sold out halfway through the festival on September the 11th. Half of our vendors sold out halfway through the festival on September the 11th. Go to fdmgfestival.com, fdmgfestival.com. 
or email fdmgvending at gmail.com for an application, fdmgperformances at gmail.com. Somebody asked me if I was having a baby. Not that I'm aware of. I just had to speak out about the fact that I went on a field trip in elementary school where I picked cotton from a plantation. Lord have mercy. Hit the cash app for FDMG. Hit the cash app for FDMG. Dollar sign FDMG school. International Africans hit your PayPal. FDMG Academy. International Africans hit your PayPal. FDMG Academy. Let me see if I get any more any more parents out there. We spent the hour on. Let me see any more parents. My four year old was diagnosed at three with an intellectual dis. No way. No. Way. I didn't just read that. I didn't just read that. Now. The only exception to that, if the child had brain damage or birth defects, brain damage or birth defects. Now, did your child have brain damage or birth defect? Because I'm reading 213 area code right now. I don't know what city that is. 213 area code. I don't know what city that is. My four-year-old daughter was diagnosed at three with intellectual disability, language disorder, social deficit, short attention span, diagnosed at two with epilepsy. Epilepsy is medical, so quite possibly, although that's kind of young. She hadn't started school, but they are wanting to place her in special ed. She says one plural word, but isn't quite putting sentences together. She has an average of 15 to 20 seizures in a month. So she definitely has a health impairment. Definitely will need special ed for health impairment. She's a bit delayed. School district wants her to have an early start. Anything I should do by mentioning for her IEP. She's four. What services do they want to give her? That's the question. Forget the labels. What services are they going to give your child? Or do they just want to load up on labels to get paid? She clearly has a disability. She has a health impairment for epilepsy. That's clear. Epilepsy does affect parts of the brain. That's clear. Okay? But I'm not seeing no conclusive proof that she can't learn. I'm not seeing no conclusive proof that she can't learn. She clearly has a language delay, but are we sure she can't learn? See, we got to be careful. I would get her early intervention. I would. But I want to find out what the services are. I would not let them label my daughter as autistic because they, they can't know at that age. And they're not labeling her as intellectually disabled because they can't know at that age. So, yes, you can go for the service. Yes, you can get the IEP. Yes, you can do early intervention. But I'm not letting them label my child as autistic and retarded at two. Hell no. Not happening. Health impairment for epilepsy? Yes. Language disorder? Yes. Speech and language? Yes. Retarded and autistic at four? Excuse me, she's four. Nah, not mine. No. We don't know enough yet. We don't know enough yet. Speech therapy, physical therapy, yes. Remember, you can have a whole bunch of physical disabilities and not be retarded. You can have a whole bunch of physical disabilities and not be intellectually disabled. You can have a whole bunch of physical disabilities and not be impaired. You mentioned coaching is needed for my wife. Do you offer that? Yes. Shoot me a text. We can schedule life coaching. We can schedule relationship coaching. Pre-marriage co coaching, consultation for the child. She was already diagnosed. Lord have mercy. That means you need to schedule a consultation with me to go over the evaluations. Wendy in Massachusetts, Dr. Umar, we had a consultation with you last year. My two-year-old, now three, autistic. She's aged out of early intervention at three. Huh? No, early intervention goes until kindergarten, sweetheart. You don't age out of special ed starts at three. You can't age out at three, special ed. She probably aged out of whatever program she was at at three, but not early intervention. Early intervention starts at three. Has done the evaluation for the IEP. I decided to let her attend a local autism center, not public school because I felt she was not ready. I'm going to let her get reevaluated before she enters public school since she's been getting ABA. She's been excelling in speech. Okay. How do you test out a special ed? You just ask for an evaluation. You test out a special ed the same way you test in a special ed. 
you test out of special ed the same way you test into special ed. Just ask for an evaluation. A parent can request an evaluation every year, believe it or not. If the child is already in special ed, they must be reevaluated every three years. If they are intellectually disabled, they must be evaluated every two years. How do you feel about this new abortion thing? I'm going to talk about that tomorrow at the Doc Bookstore, Fort Worth, Texas, from 6 until 9. Just in, just in. Dr. Umar Johnson will be at the Bantu Fest. Dr. Umar Johnson will be at the Bantu Fest in Chicago for the first time. Where are my Chicago Africans at? Do I have any Chicago Africans on Instagram or Facebook right now? Do I have any Chicago Africans on Instagram or Facebook right now? Where are my Illinois Africans at? Where are my Illinois Africans at? It is confirmed the Prince of Pan-Africanism will be speaking at the Bantu Fest for the first time ever. I've never been to the Bantu Fest. I've never been to the Bantu Fest. I've never been to the Bantu Fest, but I will be there for the first time ever. And I will be speaking both days on the 23rd and 24th of July. Leo season. I'm starting Leo season in Chicago at the Bantu Fest. I'm starting Leo season in Chicago at the Bantu Fest. Let me find out what time. Hold on. Band Two Fest, King Kong is coming. Leo season begins in Chicago. Leo season, I can't wait. I ain't seen my Shy Town Africans in a minute. I ain't seen my Shy Town Africans in a minute. I ain't seen my. Let me get back to this. But I'm hyped. Band Two Fest, Leo season starts in Chicago, where it all started. I took over black consciousness in Chicago on the anniversary of Booker T. Washington's Atlanta Cotton Exposition speech, September the 18th, 2010. Here we are 13 years later, and I'm still number one. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The King of Kings, my South Africans, the Nkosi Amakosi. I will see my South Africans October, and I will see my British Africans October. I will see my South Africans in October, and I will see my British Africans in October. Birmingham, London, Luton, Manchester, Wolverhampton. I couldn't be there for African Liberation Day because they messed my ticket up, but I will see you in October for my London Africans, my UK Africans, and I will see my South Africans in October. We just going to, and we working on, we working on Namibia. We working, where my Namibian Africans at? Do I have any Southwest Africans on the live? My Namibian Africans, my Herero people, I might be seeing you in October as well. It's hard being the number one scholar. It's hard being the most requested scholar. It's hard being the most popular scholar. It's hard being the most hated scholar. Let's continue. She was born premature, delayed, and rolling, crawling. Had an early intervention at six months. Sister Wendy, be careful with the autistic class. Sister Wendy, Sister Wendy, be careful with the autistic class. I just don't want your baby to start imitating the behaviors of other children in the autistic class. If I was your woman, FDMG would be open. You have a big vision. I hope you haven't bitten off more than you can chew. First of all, let me explain something to you. I already have my queens. Second of all, I am a Leo. 
I am a son of the sun. I am a pan-Africanist. If Marcus Garvey's vision wasn't too big for his shoulders, if Emperor Menelik II's vision wasn't too big for his soldiers, if Osajifo Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's vision wasn't too big for his shoulders, if Robert Sabukwe's vision wasn't too big for his shoulders, if Deedan Kamathi's vision wasn't too big for his shoulders, if El Haj Malik El Shabazz's vision wasn't too big for his shoulders, if Julius Nyerere's vision wasn't too big for his shoulders, then who are you to tell me? That the vision of an intellectually emancipated race of children is too big for my vision. My beautiful African queen from Las Vegas, I beg your pardon. Let me see what else we got. I'm not going to call it Chirac because that's an insult. Black Chicago is a second home to me. I will not call it Chirac. I will call it Chicago. Do you know the first ever Pan-African conference held on the planet Earth was held in Chicago? Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Do you know the first ever Pan-African conference held in the world was held in Chicago? Emmett Till, Fred Hampton, Ida B. Wells. Chicago is going to work it out. Chicago is going to work it out. I promise you, Chicago is going to work it out. Brother Dennis, get the security team together, my brother. It's time to clip up and grip up. We're going to the Bantu Fest. My Indiana security team, Brother Dennis, get the team together. Get them ready. Phil, let's go. Bantu Fest, Chicago, July 23rd and 24th. Clip up, grip up, vest up, because we about to invade the Bantu Festival in Chicago, Illinois. I ain't took no pictures with my Chicago queens in years. I ain't took no pictures with my Chicago queens in years, but I will see y'all the first day of Leo season. Actually, it's the second day of Leo season. Bantu Fest, Shy Town, King Kong is in the building. <laughs> Lady Vegas Somebody said be quiet And donate to the school Lady Vegas How do you schedule a consultation Just text me for that Okay Any more parents Can you live stream your conversation tomorrow No live streams at the lectures I want you live and in person Shania I love you though Princess any more questions for parents or are we about to roll over to the shockumentary Q&A? This is the way the shockumentary Q&A works, brothers and sisters. We got 40 minutes. We got 40 minutes. We got 40 minutes. Make a cash app donation, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson, with your question included. Make a cash app donation for $10 or more, dollar sign D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson. Make a cash app donation, dollar sign D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson, or PayPal, Umar the Psychologist at Yahoo.com, or PayPal, Umar the Psychologist at Yahoo.com, or Zelle. 215-989-9858 or Zell 215-989-9858 and I will read your question. If you make a donation during Zell, you have to text me your question. If you make a donation during Zell, you have to text me your question because Zell doesn't show me the full question. Cash App shows me the full question. PayPal shows me the full question. Who got some questions? Why do you need a security team for Chicago? I need a security team wherever I go, my brother. I'm King Kong Consciousness. I'm Dr. King, Malcolm X, Mega Ever, Fran Hampton, Kwame Nkrumah, Sekou Toure, Kwame Toure, Deedon Kamathi, Robert Sabukwe, Nat Turner, Frederick Douglass, Marcus Garvey, Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Toussaint La Overture, all rolled up in one. Of course I gotta have security. Hit the cash app, I'm asking questions. Hit the cash app, and I'm going to ask you a question. Hit the Cash App, hit the Zelle, hit the PayPal. We got 40 minutes. Anything you want to ask me, $10 or more. If you donate less than $10 to the Shockumentary, you do not get your question answered. Hit your Cash App, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit your PayPal, paypal.me slash Umar the Psychologist or Umar the Psychologist at yahoo.com. Zelle, 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 Zelle donations. Use my cell, 215 989 
9858. Let's see if we got any questions coming in. Let's see if we got any questions coming in. Hit the cash app. We shock him in a refund raising right now. We shock him in a refund raising right now. We are shock him in a refund raising right now, brothers and sisters. We are shockumentary fundraising right now. I'm live on my Instagram and on my Facebook. I'm live on my Instagram and on my Facebook. Hit the cash app, hit the Zell. Okay, if we don't get no donations, I'm gonna sign off early because I got so much to do. Still gotta get ready for Fort Worth and Duncanville. If you have a question, you better ask it. Cash app or Zell or PayPal. 215-989-9858 on the Zell. Dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson on the Cash App. PayPal.me slash Umar the Psychologist on the PayPal. What we got? What we got? Ain't nothing came through yet. What we got? Let me see if my international Africans. Sister Deanna, thank you. Sister Deanna just became an elite sponsor of the Shockumentary. Sister Deanna just became an elite member of the Shockumentary. Thank you, Sister Deanna. Appreciate the love. We got an elite member. Cash App, there we go. Brother Robert, they say slavery didn't affect us. What's your response? Brother Robert, thank you for the $10 donation. Brother Robert, how could slavery have not affected us? Our women are strung out on fake hair and blonde hair. Our men are strung out on white women. Black people own no institutions. We don't want to build no institutions. We got light skin supremacy and black skin supremacy issues. We are in love with white folks. We hate each other. Who said slavery doesn't affect us? Do you realize slavery just ended 157 years ago? My great, great, great grandfather was born in slave. My great, 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 great grandfather was born in slave. Slavery was not that long ago. You have elders today whose grandparents were enslaved. You can find elders today whose grandparents were enslaved. And you can definitely find elders whose great-grandparents were enslaved. The white man is trying to make, he's trying to paint slavery like an ancient event. And the reason he's trying to paint slavery like an ancient event, because he don't want to be held responsible for his role in it. Reparations, reparations, reparations. You understand me? He don't want to pay reparations, so he got to get black people to feel ashamed about talking about slavery. He has to motivate black folks to feel ashamed talking about slavery. I will never stop talking about what my ancestors went through. I will never stop talking about what my ancestors went through, brothers and sisters. Cash App. Mac, $10. No question from Brother Mac. Thank you, Brother Mac. The wedding scene was fake. Brother Saul, when are you coming to Brazil? 100 million black people. Brother Saul, let me talk to my Brazilian Africans right now. Let me talk to my... Bra I want to talk to two group of Africans right now. I want to talk to my Brazilian Africans, and I want to talk to my Australian Africans. I want to talk to my Brazilian Africans, and I want to talk to my Australian Africans, okay? Okay? My Rio de Janeiro Africans. Let me say this. Brazil has more Africans than any country outside of Africa. Brazil has more Africans than any country outside of Africa. And I have never been there yet. And I want to know why. I was in talks with two or three different organizations who wanted to bring me to Brazil, but it never materialized. I was in talks with two or three different organizations who wanted to bring me in Brazil, but it never materialized. So my question to my Brazilian Africans, why have I not touched down yet? I've been to Suriname. I've been to South Africa. I've been to Suriname on the Guyana border, but I've never been to Brazil. I want to know why. Australian Africans, you are the only continent to which I have yet to be invited to speak. My Australian Africans, why have I not touched down in the land down under? 
So I got a personal gripe with my Brazilian Africans and I got a gripe with my Australian Africans. But I did get an email from some Australian Africans last week. And we're going to see if this is another false alarm. But we really want to make it. Any more questions? Hit the Cash App, the PayPal, the Zelle. Any more questions? Hit the Cash App, the PayPal, the Zelle. Any more questions? Hit the Cash App, the PayPal, the Zelle. I want to go visit my South Pacific Africans too. I'm going to go visit my South Pacific Africans. And I want to go visit my Africans in the so-called Middle East too. The Arabian Peninsula. We got Africans out there who've been there since the beginning of time. Pre-slave trade. We got Aboriginal Africans of Iraq. The Aboriginal Africans of Kuwait. The Aboriginal Africans of Saudi Arabia. I was supposed to go to the Middle East, remember? I was supposed to go to Iraq or Iran for a conference, but COVID. COVID threw it off. COVID threw it off. UK, October, South Africa, October. I'm not going to Brazil for the Queens, my brother. I'm going to Brazil to organize. Get your head out of your lower chakra. Black men, we have to stop operating with the lower chakra all the time. You got to come on up to the Obatala consciousness. You got to come on up to the crown chakra and activate Obatala consciousness. Stop living through your lower chakra, my brothers. Brother Anthony, $10. Thank you. Can't wait to see you in Chicago. Bad Two Fest, King Kong is going down. How do we stop black on black crime? Brother Cobain, thanks for the $10 donation. Black on black crime. Practical education. Practical employment. African-centered mental health treatment. Pra Until we educate our own, violence won't stop. Until we employ our own, violence won't stop. Until we treat our own spiritually and psychologically, violence won't stop. Period. Period. Black on black crime does not stop until we educate our own children, employ our own children, and treat our own people. Period. Brother Robert, thank you for your ten dollars. After slavery, black people were successful in America. Yes, they were, Brother Robert. They were successful. They were also, be, also being lynched about seven a week, too. But with that being said, Brother Rob, we were successful because we were forced to do for ourselves. Let me say it again, Brother Robert. We were successful from 1865 until 1965. We were successful from 1865 until 1965. We were successful from 1865 to 1965 because we were forced to do for ourselves. But ever since that civil rights bill, don't blame the government. Don't blame Dr. King, one of my heroes. Rest in peace. Don't blame. Blame yourself. Nobody's stopping you from building a black school. Nobody's stopping you from building a black bank. Nobody's stopping you from building a black supermarket. Nobody's stopping you from building a black hospital. Nobody's stopping you from building a black community. Okay? You hate yourself and you love white folks. There would have never been a black Wall Street if integration would have started as soon as slavery ended. There would have never been a black Wall Street if integration started as soon as slavery ended. Yes, I saw the brother from Pennsylvania found hanging in a the park. There needs to be a protest in a march. Killer Mike is my guy. That's my brother, Killer Mike. Kieran, why did white people choose Africans? Several reasons. We were a very humanitarian people which means we were gullible. We did not understand the European or what he was up to. As a result of that, some African kings and kingdoms were complicit in the transatlantic slave trade. They had no idea that slavery to the white man was perpetual, eternal, 
dehumanizing. He had no idea. Okay? They also chose us because they could get away with it. They chose us because they could get away with it. They also chose us because we were biologically stronger than the other groups. We were biologically stronger than the other groups. The Native Americans did not succeed well, not just because they were able to run away because they knew the land, but biologically they were not able to tolerate some of the diseases that the white man brought to them. We were able to tolerate the white man's diseases. We were biologically stronger and thus more successful under the lash. But make no mistake, we perished as well. Make no mistake, we perished as well. And of course, racism gave birth to a social, religious, psychological, political theory that said black people were inhumane, that we were animals, we were less than, we were devils. And that gave justification to the religious society in which the white man uh, belonged to that said we could be enslaved. But I'm going to give you a revolutionary pan-Africanist answer. Why did the white man enslave us? Because we let him. That's the revolutionary. That's the Garveyite answer. We let him. And why is that the Garveyite answer? Because from a pan-African perspective, all questions, all circumstances, all conditions, all struggles are evaluated based on a power perspective and a power dynamic and a power assessment. I don't want to hear about their Christians. I don't want to hear about love your enemy. I don't want to hear about send them to college. I don't want to hear about vote for another president. I don't want to hear about another protest. The question is simple. How much power do we have to apply against police brutality? How much power can we apply against Joe Biden? How much power can we apply to stop black on black crime? Everything must be judged from the power perspective. And the problem with us is we never use the power perspective to evaluate our problems. We want to use the religious perspective, the voting perspective, the marching perspective, the integrationist perspective. To hell with that. The power perspective. Cash app. Jaden, $1.00. $10, Jay, you can't ask the question. One dollar. I appreciate the $1 donation, but that don't get you no question. Make America great again. Back to Wall Street. Make black America great again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need a t-shirt, man. Any t-shirt men out there? I need a t-shirt, man. Any t-shirt men out there? I need a t-shirt, man. Text me if you live in Philly and you do t-shirts. Text me if you live in Philly and you do t-shirts. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got an idea. Brother Bruce. Make black America great again lord have mercy i'm such a genius if you print shirts and you live in fort worth or the houston excuse me the dallas area if you print shirts and you live in the dallas area please text me if you can do about 50 shirts or 100 shirts for this weekend if you live in fort worth texas dallas texas arlington texas duncanville texas the central texas area if you can print me about 50 t-shirts text myself Make Black America Great Again. I coined it. It is mine. Don't steal it. It's my phrase. Y'all be stealing. Y'all stole unapologetically black. I ain't get a dollar. Y'all stole unapologetically African. I ain't get a dollar. Make Black America Great Again. I need some t-shirts for the Doc Bookstore tomorrow night. I need some t-shirts for Duncanville. I need some t-shirts for the Bantu Fest. I need some t-shirts for Toledo, Ohio. I need some t-shirts for Nat Turner Land, August the 21st. I want to see everybody in Nat Turner Land on August the 21st. Let me see. No Zells. Any more cash apps? We down to 30 minutes. I'm probably going to sign off a little early today. 7.30, I can eat at, let me see what time the sun, what time is dusk? We fast from dawn till dusk. What time can I eat? Sacrificing to the Lord, forgive me my sins, Lord. 
Protect me from my haters, Lord. Keep my daughter strong, my mama, my family, my queens, the queendom, my supporters, my donors, my soldiers in arms and my allies and my African children and elders and women and men and community and Africans around the world. I'm fasting for liberation, fasting for liberation, brothers and sisters. What time is dusk in Philadelphia? I can eat tonight at 9.06. 906, you add the 9 to the 6, you get 15. 1 and 5 is a 6. That's 11, 11, 11. Perfect synchronicity, Nat Turner. 906, how much time I got? 830. I got 96 minutes. I could eat in 96 minutes. Any more questions? Let me see. Zell, we got a Zell. Jamal Smith, I need you to text me a question, my brother, if you have one. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for the donation. I want to thank Lady J again for becoming an elite donor. Sister Kathy. Sister Kathy is a basic donor, borderline premier for the shockumentary. Taj Moore, thank you for the $20. That's from the other day. Jamal, you can text me your question, my brother. Hit your cash apps. If you have a story to tell. If you have a story to tell and you want to be interviewed for the shockumentary, if you have a story about your son, your daughter, medication, special education, ADHD, reading disability, math disability, picking cotton on the plantation, misdiagnosis, premature diagnosis, expulsion, beat up by school police, mass incarceration, any testimonial you have about black boys and girls, if you live in Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, if you live in Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, we come into your house. We interviewing you in your house or while you're sitting on your step, right? So if you live in the six-state area of Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, we come to your house. If you don't live in them six states, you got to come to Philadelphia. If you don't live in them six states, you can live anywhere in the country. My UK Africans, my Paris Africans, my Australian Africans, my Caribbean Africans. You could be in the shockumentary too, but you got to fly to Philadelphia to be interviewed what the, about what the schools did to your child in Australia. What did the schools do to your child in Europe? What did the schools do to your child in Brazil? What did the schools do to your child in Canada? What did the schools do to your child in the South Pacific, in Jamaica, Bahamas, Bermuda, Turks and Caicos, South Africa? You could be in the shockumentary too, but you got to come to Philadelphia. All right? Text my phone, name, city, and the word shockumentary. Text my phone, name, city, and the word shockumentary. Text my phone, name, city, and the word shockumentary. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Jamal said, hope all is well. Why should people keep saying we Af Africans sold Africans into slavery as if they wanted to do that when some of us know that they were forced? This whole narrative of Africans selling Africans into slavery is exaggerated, Brother Jamal. Some kingdoms did participate. But when most of them found out what America was doing with their kin, they stopped. And some of those very same kingdoms turned around and fought against the slave trade. Why we don't talk about the kingdoms that fought against the slave trade? Why are we trying to make the entire African continent guilty for the enslavement of African people? That is an exaggeration and it is a distortion of the truth. The slave trade of African people was an Arab European institution. The Arabs started it. The Europeans joined in and took it over. It is Arabs and it is Europeans. And what kills me, I don't ever hear nobody talk about the Arabs, but we'll talk about black folks. I don't hear nobody talking about the Arab involvement in slavery, but I keep hearing about African kings. Why don't I hear nobody talking about the Arab involvement in slavery, but I keep hearing about African kings? Somebody help me understand that. We got all the smoke for a handful of African kings, but we ain't got none of the smoke for all the Arab nations that was involved then and are involved now in the enslavement of African people. If you want to interview me on your podcast or social media page, it depends on how many followers you have. Basic price, 250 telephone, 500 video. Basic price, 250 telephone, 500 video. But if you have millions of subscribers, 
you're going to pay me more because you have more people who are going to watch it. You're going to make more money off of me. So if you want to interview me for your YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, okay, audio 250, 500 video, but it goes up if you have a lot of subscribers. You can text my phone, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. You're someone I can have an intellectual conversation with over dinner. Okay, sir, but uh, you're not African, and I'm not into anything other than traditional African relations. Not to make assumptions about you, sir, but I don't know, I don't know the angle you're coming from, but I just wanted to make that clear. I am not a part of the Rainbow Brigade as we continue. See? Don't say Arabs did a lot of enslaving. Arabs are still doing a lot of enslaving. Zell donation. Dimitri, text your question, Dimitri. Thank you for the Zell. You are so gorgeous. So are you, beautiful. So are you. Cash App, Saul. Can Africans become free by building the pyramids? We don't need another pyramid. I'm not helping nobody build another pyramid. That was 5,000 years ago. That's what they needed to do 5,000 years ago. And they did it when they ran the world. We have no business building no pyramid. Because building a pyramid ain't feeding nobody. It ain't employing nobody. It ain't stopping police genocide. It ain't stopping gentrification. It ain't building no schools. It ain't stopping mass incarceration. I'm not interested in no pyramids. Good question. Millions of Africans chose to jump off those slave boats, drowning their kids so they didn't have to choose bondage. Moment of silence for their courage. They have so much blood for us to be out here. I agree. I agree, brother. Our ancestors sacrificed a whole lot for us to be here. That's why I take my mission seriously. I might laugh and joke with y'all, but I'm dead serious about my purpose. My life is not a game. My mission is not a game. The ancestors are nothing to play with. I don't joke with African liberation. I am very, very serious about African liberation. Very serious. Brother Nkosi up in Jersey. Peace and black power. $100 from Brother Nkosi. Thank you, Brother Nkosi. African black, African black violent criminal helps secure face-to-face non-incarcerated manhood guidance. African societal appropriateness. Re-Africanize our values. I love it, Brother Nkosi. Nkosi in the guidance how to correct all actions and behavior that I committed in the past that were harmful and self-destructive to African communities. Everybody needs to make that pledge. Brothers and sisters, all of us are guilty. All of us are guilty. I don't care how conscious you are, how woke you are, how educated you are. All of us must pledge to correct all actions and behaviors that we committed in the past that were harmful and self-destructive to African communities. Did y'all hear that? I'm going to say it one more time, brother Nkosi. You on the money, brother. Thank you for the $100 donation. You are a basic sponsor of the documentary. Correct all actions and behaviors that I committed in the past that were harmful and self-destructive to the African community. Powerful. Powerful. Birmingham, Alabama, willing to participate in the shock inventory. So you're going to have to fly up to Philly. Make sure you get with me. Powerful. Can we schedule something soon? Yes, we can schedule something soon as early as Tuesday because I'll be traveling. I ain't seen my Seattle Africans and my Portland Africans in a while. I ain't seen my Seattle Africans and my Portland Africans in a while. There's a sister out there working on a double lecture right now, though. I ain't seen my Phoenix, Arizona Africans in a while, my Mississippi Africans, my Arkansas Africans. Okay, I think he might be a, a sexually confused Neanderthal. Let me get him off the live. See what we got. I want to see everybody on Saturday, September the 10th. Bring your children. There will be games, food, giveaways, vendors, performers, FDMG performances at gmail.com. FDMG performances 
at gmail.com, FDMG Vending. You want to help do a documentary on the plantations around Baton Rouge? That's a good idea, Brother Kino. That's a real good idea. You need to get on that, my brother. I'm going to read some comments in the chat. Dr. Umar, how do you engage our middle school and high school students in the struggle? You can't get, you're not going to get the, it's going to be hard to get their attention in that context. You got to take them out of that European context and put them in a black community context. Snow bunny crisis. I'm happily married and here to support melanated indigenous people. Hmm. Melanated. Everybody's melanated except Europeans. Indigenous. You have a lot of indigenous groups. I am African. Not an adjective. I am a noun. Roe versus Wade. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow in Dallas. Roe versus Wade. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow in Dallas. Doc Bookstore, Fort Worth, Texas. Tomorrow night, 6 to 9. Doc Bookstore, Fort Worth, Texas. Love from the DMV. I see you fashionable, Tam. Are you married? I have my two queens. I'm more than married. More than married. Married is paper with the white man. How do you penetrate a predominantly white town? Why do you want to penetrate a predominantly white town? Do you think American descendants of slavery only receive reparations? The entire African race are owed reparations for what white folks in Arabs have done to us. Chicago, Bantu Fest, July 23rd and 4th. I will be there. Pull up on me, queen. My thoughts on Beyonce. I love Beyonce. I support Beyonce. I do long for the day where she will wear her own natural hair, though, but I love Beyonce. What religion are you in? I practice traditional African spirituality, that version practiced by the Yoruba peoples of Nigeria known as Ifa. You have two queens. Yes, I do. Europeans have a smaller amount of melanin. Of course. Why you can't talk about it now? Some of us are not in America. The Constitution is a white man's paperwork. I don't see no comments. With my uh, Facebook Africans, I don't see no comments. With my Facebook Africans. How did you get two wives? I simply took two. What else? Are you coming to London in October? My thoughts on 4C hair. I don't know what 4C hair. That black crap needs to go. I agree. Roe versus Wade. White genetic survival. Totally agree. What do you think about people that identify stronger with the island over the motherland? Tribalism. Reason why Hollywood made all black actors just like a woman. A feminization of the black man. Rwanda is hosting the Commonwealth Summit. The head of state is Prince Charles. He made some comments about slavery. What did he say, Brother Ian? What did, what did Prince Charles say about slavery? What did Prince Charles say about slavery? I know one thing. I hope none of our Africans in Africa and in Europe were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. I hope no Africans in Africa or Europe were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. I hope no Africans in Africa or Europe were celebrating the Queen's Jubilee. What about black actually means white? Black does not mean white. I don't know who told you that. Cash app. One dollar, sparks and bridges. They want multiple orgasms. Somebody wants multiple orgasms, brothers and sisters. Maybe they want an intellectual orgasm. Maybe they want an intellectual orgasm. Do you believe a race war is coming? We already in one. Ancestry is fake. How can we truly trace back our heritage? Uh, I don't think it's fake. When you African, you African. I don't have to do no tracing. I know to which race I belong. How many races are there? Who knows? Maybe four or five basic ones. I'm only concerned about the African one, the original one. Sister Tony, you are so smart. Did the universe set it up like this? No, we made some bad decisions as African people that we keep on repeating. Do you support Brother Ben X? Why don't we learn that we were kings and queens in school? Um, Because we don't own the schools and we're not trying to build no schools. Do you believe in false flags? I don't know what that means. Why is Queen Latifah and Tiffany Haddish making movies with white men? Same reason why everybody else making movies with white folks. Black does mean white. Uh, according to you, it does. How do I make peace with my father? Sit down and meet, but you're going to have to forgive him for everything he's done in order for that to happen. Are you going to be leaving some merchandise at the Doc Bookstore for people to purchase that miss you in person? That's the idea. If I have some books left over after Sunday, I'm going to definitely gift the sisters at the Doc Bookstore with some books on Monday before I leave. Thanks for coming to Charlotte. I enjoyed Charlotte, although I didn't like the Queen Mother cutting me off at my lecture. 
Much love from Jersey. Can you go live tomorrow? Is social media addiction real? Of course it is. When are you coming to Jacksonville? Which one? White people ain't stealing from blacks. Yes, they are. Y'all need to understand language better. Do you think this is overturned? Really just so. After my after school program served the church. The woman came from the man's rib. Of course, how did the woman come from the man's rib when the African woman is the oldest human being? The African woman is God's first human creation. How did she come from the rib? There you go with that Greco-Roman anti-feminine energy dogma and religious propaganda. We came from a black woman. I don't have a problem with that. Women birth men every day. Why do I have a problem with the fact I came from a woman? Man and woman are still equal. We serve two different functions. Come back to Detroit. I will be in Toledo August 11th. That's only 45 minutes from Detroit. Stop being lazy. I'm coming back to Boston. I miss my Boston Africans. Whoopi Goldberg in the Holocaust. They made her shut up and sit down just like they did our brother Nick Cannon. You need to do the Sisters Conference in Massachusetts. Are you going to go on Joe Button podcast? Me and Joe Button spoke on Instagram. I'm waiting for, he told me he'll get in touch with me. Me and DJ Academics spoke on Instagram. I'm waiting for him to get in touch with me as well. I'm ready to bring you to Atlanta. Queen Mother Mary Evans. You moved from Pontiac to Atlanta, Queen Mother. I'm ready for you, Queen Mother. Let me know when you want to make it pop. Let me know when you want to make it pop. Come to Chicago, Bantu Fest. How do you confront cultural appropriation? First of all, stop making white folks feel comfortable. It's okay to exploit your culture and then go back to a suburb at night. Stop letting white folks think it's okay to exploit your culture by day and go back to white privilege by night. Stop letting white folks feel it's okay to appropriate your culture during the day and go back to their privileged white life by night. Stop, stop, stop. Washington, D.C. I need to get back to my D.C. Africans. Is the government behind the flooding of New Orleans? Of course they are. Is it a good idea to represent my African flag on July 4th? If you want to, I'm not even bothered with July 4th. It don't even exist for me. What do you think about Minister Farrakhan? I respect Minister Farrakhan. What states and reasons are good to raise black children in? They are racist. How do you feel about Islam? If it's an African-centered Islam, I'm okay. If it's an Arab-centered Islam, you can keep it. Do you think the white power structure had easier access to kill Gaddafi because he didn't understand white supremacy? No, it was a setup. They had to kill him because he was going to start an African currency. Hit them cash apps. No more free questions. We got 13 minutes. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash Umar the Psychologist. Hit the Zell 215-989-9858. Hit the FDMG cash app. FDMG school. For the festival or the PayPal, FDMG Academy. For I'm not going to talk about Roe versus Wade. I'm saving that for tomorrow night. Fort Worth, Texas. Doc Bookstore. Free event. Meet and greet. Q&A. Book signing. If you want to hear my opinions on Roe versus Wade, be at the Doc Bookstore tomorrow. The Q&A will be 6 to 7.30, book signing 7.30 to 9. The Q&A will be 6 to 7.30, book signing 7.30 to 9. What's the number? 215-989-9858. When is the Conscious Singles Retreat? Conscious Singles Convention will be held at FDMG. I'm going to hold the Conscious Singles Convention at FDMG. Those who come to the first convention will go to the retreat later. It's going to be a Conscious Couples Retreat. There will be a retreat for married people that I'm working on up in the mountains. The retreat is for heterosexually married Africans, traditionally married man and woman. Retreat because black love and black wives matter. Black husbands matter. Black husbands matter. D.D. Ma'at, you speed reading for real. Conscious Singles Convention going to be off the hook. You can't come to the Conscious Singles Convention if you marry. No cheating. It, Chris, $20. Thank you, brother Chris. Let me say this. If you sneak into the Conscious Singles Convention and your husband or wife send you a picture, I'm going to put it up on the, on, the, on the big screen. I'm telling you now, we do not support adultery. 
We do not support adultery. We're trying to put families together. We're not trying to separate families. I said the Conscious Singles Convention is about putting new families together, not to break down existing families. The Conscious Singles Convention is about building new families not destroying existing families. If you come to the convention acting like you're single and I find out you're not single, you're going to get embarrassed. I'm going to publish a list of adulterers who snuck into the Conscious Singles Convention. I'm going to publish a list of adulterers who snuck into the Conscious Singles Convention. I'm going to put your picture up. And if you are an adulterer and you're trying to sneak into the conscious couples retreat with your side piece. If you are an adulterer and you're trying to sneak into the conscious couples retreat with your side piece, I'm going to expose you again. No adultery will be tolerated. We are pro family. We are pro family. Brother, you need to tell everybody the website to get your merchandise. You're throwing up a lot of t shirt slogans. DrUmarJohnson.com But I'm letting y'all know now I'm working on DrUmar.tv As we speak I'm working on DrUmar.tv As we speak I'm working on D-R-U-M-A-R.tv I will be leaving social media I will be leaving social media to watch my new content, I'm going to kick it off next month. Leo season, beginning Leo season after the Chicago Bantu Fest. Beginning Leo season after the Chicago Bantu Fest, you will have to come to DrUmar.tv. You will pay a subscription, $9.99 a month. $9.99 a month, and you will watch all of my new content, and I will be going live. I will have my own platform DrUmar.tv is coming next month. Get ready. DrUmar.tv, D-R-U-M-A-R.tv. We will have super chats. We will have live streams. We will have face-to-face -face convos. And, of course, the seminars. Get ready for DrUmar.tv. I don't have a YouTube. I don't have a YouTube. Dr. Umar, how do I get laid by a snow bunny? We need a mental health hospital for raccoons like you. We need a mental health hospital for raccoons like you. We got eight minutes left. Eight minutes left. Eight minutes left. Are you looking for another wife? Who's asking? No, I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool. I can ask the Queendom if they will admit one more. I can ask the Queendom if they will admit one more. $10 from Sister Khadija. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, Sister Khadija. Shout out to all my Africans in prison. Listen, if you're watching me and you are in prison, if you're watching me and you are in prison, if you're watching me and you are in juvenile detention, if you're watching me and you are in juvenile detention, if you're watching me and you are at a halfway house, if you're watching me and you are at a halfway house, if you're watching me and you are at a drug rehab center, if you're watching me and you are at a drug rehab center, tell your executive director to get in contact with Dr. Umar to come and present to us. I do not charge for prisons. I do not charge for halfway houses. I do not charge for juvenile detention. I do not charge for recovery homes. If you are an inmate, a juvenile delinquent, a recovering alcoholic, a recovering drug addict, if you are a woman and you are in a battered woman shelter, I will come and do a free seminar for my battered sisters. All they have to do is fly me out and take care of the hotel. They must carry the expenses. There's no honorarium for me to serve Africans in dire need. Battered women shelters, homeless shelters, abuse shelters, chemically addicted clinics, Jails, prisons, penitentiaries, juvenile detention. 
I do not charge. So if you're watching me, my brother, I will come to your prison. I will come to your halfway house. I will come to your battered women's shelter. I will come to the homeless shelter. Yes, I will. And do a seminar for free. Yes, I will. Because I was born to serve. Born to serve, brothers and sisters. My email, Dr. Umar Johnson at Yahoo, D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at Yahoo, D-R-U-M-A-R Johnson at Yahoo. Hit the cash app for FDMG, hit the cash app for the shockumentary, hit the PayPal for FDMG, hit the PayPal for the shockumentary, hit the Zelle for the shock. Yesenia, $5, is this the right cash app? Yes, Yesenia. Yes, I, I'm tongue-tied, yes, Yesenia, yes, Yesenia. You have the right cash app. Yes, you do, Sister Yeshenia. One of my wives said, no more wives. That's it. She said, that is my Shango stick. I'm already sharing it with one. I'm not sharing it with two. Black power. There go your answer. There goes your answer. My sister Montrese. Oh, man, that's my godson. I almost didn't notice Chris. Looking 15 years old, my trees, my goodness. My goodness. Let me read that thing, Sister Montrees. Good afternoon. I'm the Assistant Vice Principal for Student Affairs and the Dean of Students at Benedict College. There has been no communication to our students regarding this matter. Benedict College, we have not issued any disciplinary warnings or sanctions, although we do expect our students to positively represent Benedict College at all times. This message did not come from us. If you could please assist with stopping the rumor, that would be great. Okay, so we've heard from Benedict College. They did not threaten students with expulsion from campus for speaking out about the stop and frisk that Dr. Umar and the uh, Fred Hampton Gun Club had to deal with on Juneteenth Sunday last week. Okay, so clear the air. We support Benedict College. I support Benedict College. I support all HBCUs. My cell number, 215-989-9858, 215. Why do you carry the name Johnson? Is it African? I was born Jermaine Shoemake. My father changed it to Umar Rashad Ibn Abdullah Johnson. I am in the process of changing it to Ifatunde Ogunta But that's none of your business because I'm already Dr. Ifatunde. Stop worrying about Johnson and worry about Ifatunde. I love white women. Let me send you to the block party. No time for snow bunny love. How can I reach out to you about my son? You should know who is in jail. Your son can write me. You can have your son write me. P.O. Box 6872, Philadelphia, PA. P.O. Box 6872, Philadelphia, PA. 19132. Fort Worth, Texas tomorrow. Duncanville Sunday. Fort Worth, Texas tomorrow. Duncanville Sunday. Fort Worth, Texas tomorrow. Duncanville Sunday. Text me if you need the flyer. Hit them cash apps. If you want to be interviewed, hit me up. You want to work at the school, fdmgresumes at gmail.com. Don't forget, nibpm at yahoo.com, National Independent Black Political Movement, the Bishop Turner, nibpm. Don't forget, Black Educators Conference. If you want to be a part of the National Independent Black Educators Movement, National Independent Black Educators Movement, I need four locations, one in the South, one on the East, one in the Midwest, and one on the West Coast. I'm serious, my Black teachers, my Black reading specialists, my Black speech and language pathologists, my Black social workers, my Black nurses, my Black principals. Oh, yes, my black special ed teachers, we are about to change the game, family. I got two more minutes, and then I'm going to do a deep meditation before I break my fast. I got two more minutes, and then I'm going to do a deep meditation before I break my fast. I've been doing good with the soda. I ain't had too much soda this fast. I've been doing good with the snacks. I haven't had a single little Debbie cake. I haven't had a single little Debbie cake this fast, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to eat a honey bun for snack tonight and I got my vanilla wafers and I got my ginger ale. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to confess to my African community, my global African family, because I love African people. I'm going to eat a honey bun tonight. I'm going to eat my vanilla wafers tonight and I'm going to drink a ginger ale tonight. And I don't care who don't like it. 
Okay? When I get to the Holistic Health Festival on Sunday, when I get to the Holistic Health Festival in Duncanville Sunday, when I get to the Holistic Health Festival in Duncanville Sunday, I will do my vegan thing and I will do my holistic thing Sunday in Duncanville. But today and tomorrow in Fort Worth, I'm going to eat what I want in Philly and I'm going to eat what I want tomorrow in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm going to eat what I want to eat tonight in Philly and I'm going to eat what I want to eat tomorrow in Fort Worth, Texas. This is your brother. King Kong Consciousness signing off six more days after tonight of the Pan-African Fast. Fort Worth, Texas, Doc Bookstore tomorrow, God willing. Duncanville, Texas, Holistic Health Festival at the Armstrong Center. Sunday, God willing. Toledo, Ohio, August 11th. Chicago, Illinois, July 23rd and 24th. Leo season begins in Chicago at the Bantu Fest. Leo season begins in Chicago at the Bantu Fest. Peace and Pan-Africanism.